Welcome to the Texas Truck Channel. I've got the 2023 Jeep, not Jeep, kind of Jeep, Wagoneer Series 2 off-road off version. And then we're going to do a quick walk around, Brian, because we've never seen... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hey. We've, we've seen this last year. We've we, seen this. We drove the Series 2 with 18 inch yeah, wheels. Yeah, white and 18 inch wheels and off roads. It's really cool. It was awesome. Let's go over here, Brian. This is what the story is all about. This is the real reason we got this because no longer is there any eight cylinders under here. No 5.7, no 6.4. It's okay though because we've got. Are you ready for this? No. We've got a Category 5 heading your way. Hurricane. This is the GME i6. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. I, I as an as an I inline? as an inline, not V. Not this be way. this way. That's what this means. Let's take this thing out. Get that out of here. Get that out. Get that out. Get, can, can get, we? Get. get oh, no, it's no. too far in the back. We can't get to it. But it's an inline six. Inline six. You can see turbos down here. Wait. It's twin turbo. There's two different versions of it. There is a high output and a standard output version. Not, I think this is the, this, this, well, this is the standard. This is, this is the yeah. standard output, output version. Um, you're going to feel plenty of uh, up and go. With this bad boy, the high output version makes 510 horsepower. It's more efficient, and it's all new architecture based off the GME from the two liter we saw previously. This is now a three liter. So, so architecture on. wise, this is sharing the two liter out of the Wrangler. Yes. And also the four by E. All the four by E stuff. So the two liter, which the Alpha Julia 2.0. The Alpha, okay, yes, yeah. yes. It's a good motor. Yeah. This has been extended with two more cylinders. It's, new, it's an all new inline six. And you're gonna start seeing this in a lot of uh, Stellantis products from trucks to cars. And this is one of the first things we've seen it in. Yep. So Challenger Charger and Rams. What we'd like this. to do, instead of doing our normal stuff with this, well, we'll do our normal oh. stuff, but we're gonna get this on the road and we're gonna get you a zero to 60 time. Before we do that, is. one more thing. This is a Hurricane. Why is it called the Hurricane? That's a great question, Brian. Why is it called a Hurricane? Because of the old Jeep engine that was... Oh, like, yes, that's right. Yes. So it, it yes. was what? It was 30 horsepower <laughs> per, liter. per liter was the displacement direct output on that. Yes. And this is like back in the 30s or something. And the high output version actually does 133 plus horsepower per liter. Right. So, so. the high output version of this is 500 plus horsepower. This one is 400. Yes. Let's get it on the road with the 400 and see what it does zero to 60. Let's give it the beans. All right, Brian. There's a storm brewing. <laughs> in your pants? <laughs> Time to hit it, see what the hurricane's got. Go! Brake boost. Okay, oh, there's geez. the thrust. ZF8 speed doing its thing. Okay, yeah, still got that. 6.27 to 60. Not bad. And, you know, felt very uneventful because it's such a big car. Absolutely not. <laughs> Did we go anywhere? I feel like we're sitting still. <laughs> no, we're doing 80. So, look, that's really impressive. This is a massive, massive SUV. And keep in mind, there's an L that's longer than this. Yes. So the L came out and I thought to myself, you know, the suburban size one wasn't big enough. Let's, <laughs> let's get the excursion. Oh, wait, 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 no, this is bigger than that. Yeah. So anyways, all out of the way, that's what this video is about. It's the Hurricane, Craig. What's your take? Well, for I can't wait to drive the high output version. That's what I can't wait I know, for. me too. That's it? That's really oh, it. okay, great. <laughs> that's, that's it. It is velvety smooth and mm -hmm. it is quiet. I kind of wish there was more flair in there, but you know what? This will yeah. end up in your future Challenger Charger. I know the EV is all the talk, but these will actually be powering most of them. Yep. And um, it is smooth. The inline balance is here. Look, an inline six is the most is the smoothest engine because it's right. naturally balanced. You don't have to have any counterweights or any of that counterbalance stuff. It's just smooth. It's just smooth. And look, this is leaning on heritage of old Jeep. Yep. Jeep has been inline six for a long time. The Blue Flame Special, the yep. 4.0s, AMC at the 4.2. Yep. It's been a long time. This just happens to have Italian roots. All right. That's okay. And we'll see how that goes. I think it's going to be a great product. It is fast. No it's very fast, and it's going to keep all our trucks and SUVs modern with all the other competitors that are going to twin turbo V6s as exactly. well, or have already been there. So twin turbo six cylinders in your trucks are the future. And it's not going to be slow, I'll tell you that. No, the future's and, not slow. And look, leave it to Stellantis or Mopar, or whatever you choose to call them today. They still want the cool route. We can't do a twin turbo V6. We're doing an inline six. Inline, you're right. Leave yeah. it to them. How cool is that? All right, thanks for watching Texas Truck Channel. Anything else? That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Check the socials. Ah! <laughs>